Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Midnight Shift, and of course if you want to play this for yourselves, the links in the details as always are down below in the description for you. In this game I'm going to be playing as that guy there working at that gas station over there in the background. I'm going to be taking care of customers dealing with my daily tasks, but my shift is very quickly going to turn into a nightmare, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, but let's play... Midnight Shift! <laughs> Here we go. Alright, and here we are, in control, outside the quick stop, where I'm probably going to meet a quick end. And someone's in there waving at me, I guess my colleague. Let's see. Alright, let's go say hi, shall we? Hello, whoever you are. Johnny? What's up, Mike? Hey, bro. A second later and you'd have gotten drenched. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep, saved by the bell. And to top that, my car's in the shop, so I had to take the bus. Anyway, you got plans for tonight? Oh man, sucks to hear that. Check this out. You know that chick I've been trying to get with? Well guess what? We're meeting up tonight. Congratulations, man. So, what's the plan? And to be honest, I don't know. I'm meeting up at Paco's Pizza, and then we'll plan the night. Oh crap, I have to go, man. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Peace out, bro. You will if I'm alive. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Alright, so... Well, I guess this is my place now. He's off. Let me just get out of your way. No, oh, okay, alright, okay. <laughs> you taking me with you? <laughs> and away he goes. Alright, let's see then. Here we are. Okay, well, let, let's leave the music on, shall we? We've got the daily tasks over here. Place the returned items back on the aisles. Alright. Ah, yeah, this seems very familiar. I don't need to use the phone now, but maybe a little bit later on. We've got the register down there. Unfortunately, I can't rob the place. Got a working bell, that's nice. Right, let's see. Peace to you. I guess I need to return this. Ah, uh, where's that gonna go? What have we got here, then? Vitamins? Bandages? Plasters? Medicines, I think, really? I don't think Peace Jew is really a medicine. Um, could be somewhere around here. Ah. There we go. Brilliant. Alright. And there goes Mike, leaving me to die. Wonderful. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Fresh smile. Okay. Toothpaste? No, not seeing it there. What we got? Dog food? Cat food? No, I don't think it's around here. Let's see. Oh, here we are. Fresh smile. Fantastic. Okay. What else we got? <laughs> Not quite Pringles, I guess. Wait, over here? Over here. Fantastic. All right. Doritos? <laughs> okay. More crisps, I suppose. So, somewhere over here? No? Okay. Oh, hang on. All right. I don't need to make a call, but apparently someone needs to call me. Let's see. Who is it? Quick stop. How may I help you? Hey, punk. Oh, boy. This is my... Oh, it's Mike. Oh, no. Did you get dumped already? <laughs> Me? Dumped? Nah, man. Listen. I picked up all the inside store trash and placed it in the back room by the exit door. I was going to take it to the dumpster, but a client walked in and I totally forgot about it. Also, the man's bathroom light bulb is going out and needs to get replaced. Last, Frank told me to remind you about keeping the store clean. Bloody hell. Sure, I'll take care of it all, bud. 
Thanks, bro. Bye. Okay, time to work. I shouldn't have picked up the phone. All right, well, let, let's stick with this, shall we? I've got tomato ketchup. Right, I think I saw that by the Pringles, right? Over here? There we are. What else we got? Okay, a couple more things. We've got peanut butter. Okay. Um, down here? Perfect. Okay, I think there's one more thing in the basket, and then, well, that, that should be that done. Doggy bits. Okay, <laughs> right, the, uh, the dog and the cat food just around the corner here, yeah? All right. Good stuff. Task completed. Brilliant. So, what's next? Oh, it's actually been crossed off as well. Fantastic. I need to take the garbage bag to the dumpster. And then it's the light, and I need to uh, maintain the store clean. Sure. Yeah, it's looking a bit shabby, isn't it? Right. So, here's the staff. The boss, a.k.a. Frank. Cool guy. But it's hard to tell when he's joking. There's Mike that just left. Mr. Mike. A little lazy, but a great friend. And I guess that'll be me. Yep, I look good. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Let's see. Well, this place does need a clean, doesn't it? Alright. Seems like we've got some sort of self-service area over here. Okay. Santa? What does that taste like, I wonder? Loca-Cola? Alright. Around here? Oh, fantastic. we got the toilets. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, this bulb is definitely on its last legs. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wonderful! I should look for a replacement, though. Yeah, okay. Let's see, in here? Okay, more than needs to be cleaned. But yeah, we've got, we've got flushable toilets, not bad. Alright, so we've got the staff area. Let's see. Alright. Anything in the locker? Me? Okay. Oh, this is somewhere to hide. I can hear my heartbeat. Oh man, okay, right. Well, let's, let's keep that open, because who knows when I'm going to have to dive inside. Oh, what was that? Okay. Was that the door? Oh. oh. I heard something. Maybe something triggers when uh, when someone's driving in. Alright. Looks like I might be needed in a moment. But let's see. Back into the staff area. Oh, there's a door here as well by the looks of it. Okay. Alright. So we got paper towels, toilet paper... A flashlight, that could come in handy. Okay. Well, there's that. Right, there's that bulb. Let's go fix that now. Yeah. Probably don't need the flashlight at this point. <laughs> okay, so it's this one, isn't it? And the men's. Oh, I think that someone's come in. Well, that worked. I should let Frank know that we ran out of bulbs when he comes in the morning. Another task completed. Not bad, not bad. All right. Let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> sorry for making you wait. What's up? Good evening. <laughs> How may I help you tonight? Hi. I'd like $20 on pump two and a pack of Morby's Mint cigarettes, says the costumer. <laughs> One pack of Morby's Mint coming right up. They're behind me, aren't they? Right, the green packet. Okay. Down here? Down here, okay. And $20 on pump two. All tax included, thirty-seven eleven apparently. Alright. Brilliant. You gave me that exactly? That's strange, but fine. <laughs> okay. Well, thankfully I wasn't murdered, so I'm going to take that as a win. Right, let's see. Um, right, garbage bag to the dumpster. That was, that was out here, wasn't it? Alright. Good stuff. Oh. Oh, the, the I, I door latch lock is set. I know what you mean, but... <laughs> Alright. Okay. Did you take the long way to get to your car? Ah, there's the dumpster. Or at least, I assume. It's meant to be left shift to sprint in this game, but I can't seem to do it. Maybe I'm saving it for, uh, you know, when I get chased. Because I'm sure that's going to happen. There you are. Task complete. Good stuff. Alright. 
Now we're out here and we seem to be safe. Let's just have a little look around, shall we? Anything around the back? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Alright, that's interesting. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> around the other side. No suspicious cars parked here? No? Okay. What was that? Was that me? I don't know. And away she goes, leaving me once again alone. Okay, so we've got newspapers. Ice. There's the bin there. Right, I tell you what, I'm going to go in this way. And I'm actually going to uh, close this back up, lock it back up. There you are. Right. So, I think that's everything but one task, and that's maintain the store clean. I think there was a broom in this cupboard, wasn't there? Here we are. Right. I am seeing stains all over the floor, so I guess, yeah, I've got to deal with these. No? Hmm. Oh, hang on. Oh, it works with this one. Maybe I just sort of missed the hitbox here as well. Yeah, all right. Oh, sounds like the phone's going again. Yeah, okay. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm going to leave it here. Right, okay. I'm going to need two hands for the phone. Quick stop, how may I help you? Hello? Greetings. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? My name's Johnny. Is there anything I can help you with? <laughs> My death, of course. Alright. Are you still there? Nice to meet you, Johnny. Wonderful. Sure, whatever. Right. Can I call the police? No, I, I don't need to use the phone now. <laughs> now, what I need to do is is try and keep this clean. Oh, oh, now it's working. Right, yeah, there's still a few stains to sweep up. All right. Is that everything? Oh, that looks a little bit dirty down there, actually. All right, I think, I think this is it. This might be the last one. Or maybe not. The task hasn't been completed. Huh. Oh, this stuff? Alright, this is on the floor as well. Okay, right. Yeah, I've got to clean up after the people that sort of serve themselves with food and stuff. There we are. Now the task is completed, right. Oh, hello. What have we got here? A couple of customers? Right. I guess I've got a broom to defend myself with if they start something. I don't know if this is the guy that called me. Oh, alright. I guess I'll leave them to their own devices. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. They're getting weapons out, aren't they? They're getting ready to rob the store. Oh no. Alright. Well, seems like you're getting a packet of crisps. She's going to the toilet, alright. All tasks completed. Fantastic. Let's just listen to some tunes. Alright. Okay. Okay, is that everything? What's up, buddy? Says another costumer. How much for a pack of beers and a bag of chips? Let's see. The beer pack is $14.99 and the chips $2.99. That'll be a total of $19.24 with tax added. Damn. That's overpriced. I guess that's what you get when the next stop is about an hour away. Anyway, here's your $19.24. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, it... Are you waiting for your girlfriend, your wife? Is she still in the toilet? I think she went into the toilet. Oh, oh God, what's that smell? Oh, boy. I should look around and find the cause. I, I suspect I might know, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> Hi there. Right, off you go. Yuck. The stench is coming from the ladies' restroom. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? I should fix this immediately or the entire stall will smell like crap. I believe I saw a plunger inside the broom closet. Oh, I did. I did. They're off. They're off. Okay, right. Uh, the damage has been done, I suppose. Bloody hell. Okay. 
Yeah, there it is. Got the plunger. Don't know if it's really the right sort of plunger for this, but, well, <laughs> it's the best we got, right? It's the best we got. Oh, the joys of working at a gas station late at night, eh? Right? Damn. I'm both amazed and disgusted. Either way, I'm sure it must have hurt. Oh well. I should put this plunger back where I found it. Okay. You're not gonna wash it first? Uh, no, apparently not. Right, well, um... Who was it? The boss? What, Frank? Yeah, Frank. Frank's gonna be, uh... Yeah, he's, he's gonna find something tomorrow. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah, looking good. Still can't call the police. No, no need to use the phone. <sighs> All right. Again, let's kind of survey the area. Let's see if there's anyone creepy lurking outside. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, I got some money. I found I found 25 cents. So I guess, well, hang on. I, I think that means I should be able to use this, right? Hey, there we are. No oh, doubt it comes. What is that? Bubble gum? <laughs> Brilliant. It's worth it for this alone, don't you think? I don't even really care how it tastes. Nice. Right. Still no murderers outside? Just the way I like it. Oh. Oh, the school bus has arrived. Who's this? I don't know if I like the music accompanying it. Right. Are you just gonna park right there? You know what, if, if you're gonna start something, I've got this shit-stained plunger to defend myself with. And I'm not afraid to use it, alright? Uh-huh. Okay. Still no movement. Just this rather disturbing audio. Okay. Right. If I could lock the doors, I would. I can lock one of them, but that's not good enough. Maybe I should go out and confront the guy. This is such a dumb idea. Oh, okay. Right. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. There we are. Right, okay. Hold on, hold on, let me just put the plunger down. Although, that might be the biggest mistake I make. Who is it, do you think? Mike? Frank? Quick stop! How may I help you? Hi, Johnny. That's this guy again. Is there anything you need help with, sir? Mm, yes. I'd like to speak with your co-worker. Is he there now? They work different- No, don't say that! Say which one! Or say, oh, they're in the toilet at the moment. They work different hours, so you'll have to call back at 8am for Frank and 5pm for Mike. Hmm. I'm very happy to hear that you are all alone. I bet you are! Now listen very closely. This is extremely important. My axe is 30. Happy birthday! Uh, oh, th <laughs> Thirsty, and I believe your blood will surely quench its thirst. What the? What's wrong with you? Get the hell out of here before I call the cops. Hmm. We'll have to work on fixing that attitude, Johnny. See you soon. Creepy SOB! Right. Call the police! You do need to use the phone. He's right outside, I think. That, that door's locked, right? That back door's still locked? It is. Okay, so he couldn't get in that way. I, I guess when I was getting the plunger, maybe he got out of the car. Maybe he's on the roof or something. He's lurking outside. Right, I was going to confront him. I'm still going to confront him. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Not saved by the bell, saved by the horn this time. Right. Don't go right. Go left. Leave. Get out of here, okay? Alright. Looks like he's going back onto the road. And the music disappears with him. Alright. Well, okay. 
I can pick up speed quick. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I didn't die, but I think that's primarily because I came outside with a shit-stained plunger. No one wants to deal with that. Oh. Oh, God. It's the phone again. Who's it gonna be? Hmm. It's gonna be him saying, like, I'm still here. Let's see. Hello! How may I help you? Oh, it's Frank, my boss. Hi, this is Frank. Just checking. How is everything? Not good. Hey there, boss. Everything's... Oh, man, you've had so many chances to make this right. Don't say everything's cool. Perfect, Frank says. That's what I like to hear. Listen, don't forget to replace the bags of the four gas station trash containers and the two outside the store. Yesterday, nobody took care of them. And the trash was overflowing when I got there. Shit like that shouldn't happen. So please, take care of it. <sighs> got it, boss. Anything else? Nope, that's all. Bye. <sighs> Fuck! It was going so well. Okay. So the ones inside, Mike took care of, right? It is... Right, it's, it's just those ones out there, I think. I think I did see a fairly full bin outside, so... Yeah. This one over here? Right, okay. And then... Yeah, what we got? One, two, there's one... Oh, God, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's four over there. And I think one on the other side of the building, right? I still can't sprint! I really wish I could! Okay. Oh, man. Okay, that one's full as well. This one. Oh, we can only carry one bag at a time. Oh, that one's full. As is that one. Uh, okay, right. Well, I'm just leaving the sacks on the ground at this point, right. Without the ability to run, this is going to take quite a while to go back and forth. All right, that's two down. That'll be number three. Four. Jesus Christ, please, let me run. <laughs> oh. I actually can't move anymore. What's going on? Why can't I move? Ooh. Ooh! Oh, hell no! <laughs> I'm calling the cops. It's about fucking time! Right, okay. I I'm just glad that something interrupted me taking the bags down, to be honest, because that's taken a long, long time. Oh, boy. Right. Please. Please, call the police. Alright, 911? Oh, come on. Okay, 911, what's your emergency? Uh, I'd like to report a very odd and creepy activity. Okay, please tell me, what's the emergency? I'm the midnight shift attendant at a quick stop gas station, and I saw a guy with a mask in the woods looking straight at me. I also believe this is the same guy that's been calling the store and threatening me. He even drove into the parking lot in a yellow van and parked in front of the store for a while, but never got out. As you can imagine, this shit isn't normal. Please send some help ASAP. Got it. I'll note your call and relay it to the closest deputy to your location. Please stay put inside the store and call back immediately if the situation escalates. Thank you. And please tell the officer to hurry because I'm about to shit my pants. Please remain calm. The deputy should be arriving soon. Okay, all right. Hey, she told me to stay inside. That means I don't need to deal with any more trash bags, right? Okay, that's a good enough excuse for me. Let's go, let's go check that door, just in case. Still locked. It's still locked. Yep, and, and I'm staying inside for now. Good, good, okay. All right. <laughs> We've got this nice little sort of squeezy teddy bear to keep me company. Yeah. Yeah, I'm staying inside this room specifically. Or maybe even the locker, right? If I want to hear the sound of my own heartbeat. Right. Okay, my eyes are now glued to the windows, looking for the guy in the mask or the deputy. Plot twist? Same guy. <laughs> no sign of... Anyone or anything at the moment. But I do wonder about the roof above me. Yeah. Have I seen any, like, vents? I don't think so. I mean, there's that one up there, but... I don't know. Mm, 
I, I don't think if there's someone on the roof they can climb in, can they? Uh, I don't think so. Let's hope not. Is this the police deputy? I, I don't think so. Just another customer by the looks of it. What a time to arrive, eh? What a time to arrive. Oh, oh, please, please don't hit the trash bag ahead of you. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, just someone wanting to, to fill up on gas, I think. Right. Okay. Hey, I've still got a job to do. Creepy shit might be happening, but, you know, I can't keep my eyes glued to the windows forever. Hmm. What do you think? Is this the creepy guy coming in a different car? I don't think so. Alright. What are you going to fetch, I wonder? You gonna get a drink? You gonna get some beers? Something like that? Don't start anything. I have a broom. Alright. Alright. Just these two, yeah? Hello. How are you doing tonight? Well, I'm good. But I almost hit some crazy guy on the way here. Picture this. He was running around like a crazy man in the middle of the road. Good thing I was already slowing down to turn to this gas station. Hmm. I did call the cops because some arsehole's messing with me. I wonder if it's the same guy. They should be here any minute now. Man, that's some creepy shit, dude. I would have gone a long time ago if I were you. Honestly, yeah, same, same. With that said, I better get going. Can you put $20 on pump 5 and charge me for this soda and these pills, please? Sure, alright. So, $20 on the pump, $99 for the soda, $7.99 for the ibuprofen. That'll be a total of $29.61 with tax. Here you go, man. Take care, bro. Right. I feel like I'm going to witness this guy get murdered as he goes back to his car. So I want to get a front row seat. Oh! Or oh, maybe not. Okay, here's the deputy, right? And he comes. Well, now that he's arrived, I'm going to look like an idiot, aren't I? <laughs> There's going to be absolutely no evidence I can show him. There's no CCTV. And it's all going to be hearsay. He's not going to be able to do anything. He's going to leave and then I'm going to get killed. Is that how it's going to go? Right. Do you think he could stay here with me and be my co-worker for the shift? That'd be nice. Alright. And it looks like that guy's off. Okay. Hey! Okay, it looks like you went straight over the trash bag. <laughs> I was wondering if that was going to delete it or something. Let's see. The Pillis. Okay. <laughs> Sergeant Smith says, Hi there. I'm here about a recent call to the emergency hotline. Are you the individual that called? I am, yeah. There's a crazy guy with a white mask harassing me. I saw him in the woods by the garbage dumpster. Got it. I'll go ahead and take a quick look around the premise. The, the, the premises, you mean? Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. Pillis, police. I don't know what to believe. Right, so he's going to be dealing with that. I am going to be scanning around the area, waiting and watching for this guy, really. With him around, do you think I could complete my work? No! I Okay, I'm doing the sensible thing for once. I'm staying inside. I'm actually forced to stay inside. Right. So he's around the corner, and I don't... Okay, I can't see him. What's he going to find? Nothing, right? He's not going to find a thing. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, looks like he's going to check out the dumpster area, which unfortunately I can't see. Hmm. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Oh. Okay. Is the deputy still out there? He's been out there quite a while. Or maybe this is him calling in. I don't know. Let's see. Quick stop. How may I help you? Why are you making this difficult? There was no reason to call the pigs. What? Screw you, man. Oh, Johnny. I'm going to have fun with you. Anyway, I have to let you go for now. I hear the pig getting closer. Screw you, man! You're going to jail! Right. Well, if the pig's getting closer, that means he's still somewhere around the dumpster. Oh! Oh, crap! Exactly crap! What the hell was that? I hope the sergeant's fine. It didn't sound like it! Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, what? Can I do anything, or have I, have I just got to hope that he's fine? Nah, I'm staying inside. Okay. I'm staying inside. I'm not going out to, to be the hero. I'm not going out to help. I just don't think I'm going to be seeing Sergeant Smith again. We got, like, a weapon in here? I mean, I know there's this, but, like, a, a proper weapon? <laughs> Something a little bit better than that? What the fuck? What was that? Right. I don't know if it was just, you know, like, bludgeoning the police officer or, or what, but that's kind of what it sounded like. I can't go out to check. Shit. I wasn't all that nervous to begin with, really. It was just kind of formulaic. It was a lot like Night Shift in a couple of the other games. Uh, now, now I'm quite nervous. Now I don't know what to expect. Can I call an additional police officer? Crap. Oh, the phone line's dead. Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm stuck inside. I now have no phone. The police officer's most likely dead. I'm on my own with a shit-stained plunger and a broom. Right. Maybe I should just hide in the locker, honestly, at this point. There we go. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for watching Midnight Shift, everyone. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Nah, it's not going to end there. Oh. What was that? The hell was that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Crap, what's the deal with that guy? Right. he He's running around. Can I... I still can't run. Why can I not run? If he comes in, I am not going to walk away from him, right? Please tell me I'm going to sprint out of here. Shit. So now he's just playing games with me. Knocking on the window, running around the corner. That door's still locked, thankfully. And yeah, I, I don't think there is an access from the roof, like through the suspended ceiling, through a vent or anything like that, or at least I hope not. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Ah, oh, shit. I should have taken that food delivery job instead. Yeah, you should have. Right. Thankfully, I've got a flashlight. Picked that up earlier. I knew it was going to come in handy. It's a bit of a shame we can't lock these automatic doors. Even with the power off, they still fucking work. <sighs> right. Okay. I guess I could just, like, burn the place down. <laughs> That's probably not the right thing to do, though. Hmm. I feel so vulnerable, you know, and I feel kind of useless right now. There's nothing for me to really do. I've done all my tasks, apart from the one that involves me going outside and dying. Uh, we just kind of got to wait to get killed, I think. No more knocking on the windows, no more sightings outside. And, you know, I haven't seen the deputy in a while. I think he's been bludgeoned to death. 
Am I gonna try and leave? No, I'm staying inside. I'm staying inside. Now, the phone line was cut, right? The phone line's dead. Maybe a miracle's occurred. No, still dead. I guess I got this bell. <laughs> right. Oh shit, 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 shit. That's the door, isn't it? Oh fuck. Okay, now I'm on edge. There's only one person it could be and it's him, right? Oh. Wait, wait, maybe he didn't come inside. It looks like there's a box outside, but right, I'm just going to I'm just going to check the area. I don't think he's inside. Right, I, I'm pretty convinced he's not inside, but I think I might need to go out and have a look at that box. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh shit! I can't believe this! This guy's really fucking crazy! Hold shift to run. Just run. Oh, run, 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 run! We're going this way, we're going this way, and we're hoping. Oh, boy. Right, this is going to be a long, long run home. Oh, come on! An invisible barrier. I was caught in much the same way in Night Shift. Oh. We're trying this again. Okay. Bloody hell, right. Okay, that running that way is not going to work. Right. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. Maybe I can climb onto the roof? No? Right. Bloody hell. Oh man, his corpse is, is around there. If I run to the left, is, is there going to be an invisible barrier there as well? Probably, right? Come on, just get to the bus stop. Get to the bus stop! <laughs> I don't think it's really safe to, to sit here, do you? Oh, wait. Is it? Oh, no, no. There he is. And, yeah, it is an invisible barrier. Kill me again. <laughs> so, what's the move? How do I How do I deal with this guy? Right. This time I've managed to lose him. Third time's the charm. Right, around here. Let's see. Ah! Oh, the gun! Right, okay. Take the gun. The ammo. Good stuff. Right, okay. Now I've actually got something to defend myself with. Where is this guy? Right, where is... Oh, there he is! Oh, wow! What the hell? Okay, that mask is just bulletproof, I guess. What the hell? <laughs> oh shit! How the fuck was that freak able to take over ten shots? Well, that doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Anyhow, I should get the hell out of here and inform the cops. Sergeant Smith's patrol car keys should be on him. Oh god. Right. I don't know if he's dead, honestly. I don't like the fact that there's no more blood coming out, his head's not exploding. I don't like the fact that he's still got the axe. I have a feeling that the body's gonna be gone, honestly. When I when I go around, I get the keys and I try and drive off, he's gonna be gone. Right, let's see. Okay, I, I love that this was set up just to illuminate him. Okay. Damn. Okay, bud, where are your keys? This is so messed up. Here they are. Time to leave this nightmare. Alright. I want to go and check the body, honestly. Is it still there? I don't see it. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I was right. I was right. Is he gonna be in the back seat? <laughs> Just in case. Oh, shit. Okay. Credits aren't rolling yet. I don't think it's going to be a happy ending. Do you? Alright. And away you go. Oh. I <laughs> and there you go. That's how Midnight Shift comes to an end with him dancing on the roof of the gas station, but with me driving away, not getting chopped up in the back of a police car. So I'm taking that as a win. Yeah. Midnight Shift, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. What did you think about this one? Overall, I thought this was pretty good. Quite formulaic, quite similar to Night Shift from Puppet Combo. It was very sort of Puppet Combo 616 Games-esque. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it, and by the end of it, I was quite anxious, quite nervous as to, you know, what this guy was going to do next. How was he going to get to me? Uh, I never actually had to use that locker. Maybe that would have led to another ending? I don't know. But me me running into the invisible barriers, trying to escape, signifies that that probably wasn't going to work. It's a bit of a shame that that didn't lead to another ending, actually, where I just ran away instead of, you know, trying to take the guy out. Um, there's that, a few spelling mistakes. Uh, I think... There's a little bit of a lull in between the events that lasts a little bit too long, and it's a bit of a shame that you can't run outside for the longest time, because, you know, dealing with the trash bags did take quite a while. It was a little bit tedious, but, uh, yeah, just, just minor nitpicks overall. I really quite enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Peace out, bro. You will if I'm alive. I'm not so sure. <laughs> and there goes Mike, leaving me to die. Wonderful. <laughs> Sorry for making you wait. What's up? Good evening. <laughs> okay. Well, thankfully I wasn't murdered, so I'm going to take that as a win. My name's Johnny. Is there anything I can help you with? My death, of course. You know what, if, if you're gonna start something, I've got this shit-stained plunger to defend myself with. And I'm not afraid to use it, alright? I'd like to speak with your co-worker. Is he there now? They work different- No, don't say that! Say which one! Or say, oh, they're in the toilet at the moment. My axe is 30. Happy birthday! Uh, oh, th <laughs> Thirsty! Right, I was gonna confront him, I'm still gonna confront him. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Why can't I move? Ooh. Ooh! Oh, hell no! Hey, she told me to stay inside. That means I don't need to deal with any more trash bags, right? I feel like I'm gonna witness this guy get murdered as he goes back to his car. So I wanna get a front row seat. Let's see, the pillis? Okay. <laughs> Ooh! I don't think there is an access from the roof. Like, through the suspended ceiling, through a vent or anything like that, or at least, I hope not. Oh, fucking hell! Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on! An invisible barrier! What the hell?! I have a feeling that the body's gonna be gone, honestly. When I- when I go around, I get the keys and I try and drive off, he's gonna be gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I was right. I was right. Is he gonna be in the back seat? <laughs> Just in case.